Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Today we're gonna to be testing out some UVC decontamination lights and LEDs. Uh, we picked up an X-Tech UVC light meter. This is SDL 470. You can pick these up at digikey.com. They're not inexpensive, but this is really the only way to get calibrated UVC light sensor. Yeah, I've seen all the online ads that everyone else has for all sorts of uh, UVC looking things. So not only are we developing uh, some at Adafruit, but we had to have this testing equipment, which we have, and we also bought ones to figure out which ones are good and which ones are not. Yeah, so. so this is the calibrated UVC sensor. So the first thing we're gonna test out is this like decontamination yeah. So baggie. You, yeah, you're supposed to like put your phone in it and you like, yeah. they say leave it in there for like, you know, two hours or something. Okay, so for this one, we're measuring, you know, at the bottom of the bag, kind of in the center about 100 to 125 microwatts per centimeter squared of UVC light. And then we're gonna check okay. out um, this little handheld it's bulb. 11 watt. So yeah, 11 watt sterilization. Yeah. Okay. So I'll put a couple inches away. And this one is, you know, about five times as much light. It's about 500 to 600 microwatt per centimeter squared. And how long would you have to leave something in the box and then not so far to to decontaminate um okay so you're looking it up uh the notes are for decontamination of an n95 mask one joule per centimeter squared um and then for inactivation of coronaviruses which i don't know the difference between inactivation and decontamination maybe just means they just don't function anymore but they're still there it's only one millijoule so for this one if you want to decontaminate three hours to deactivate one minute okay. for this one to um decontaminate it would be um about 30 minutes so half an hour and to inactivate 10 seconds so okay. this so is this, pretty good this is a nice wand you would wand something over yeah and you just do it continuously making yeah, okay. sure you got 10 seconds total okay. per, per surface all right then we have a bigger one here. then we have this big <laughs> one and what's interesting is this is um you know, this is this holder wasn't actually meant for UVC light. So it was funny because we were like testing it and we're like, oh my God, the value is zero. But it's yeah, actually it's because um, this plastic cover is UVC filtering, which is good because usually you don't okay. want to have UVC light. So okay. being very careful, don't look at this. Um, yeah. It is about, you know, 500 to 800 microwatts per centimeter. So almost a whole. Okay milliwatt per centimeter put that on okay. immediately okay and then you yeah. have a couple other options then these are the um these are the uvc leds we're experimenting with a lot of these um this is one type and one model yeah and uh we're not happy with the performance yet but we need to figure out some stuff so yeah this one uh look how close we are so getting it. really close it's really only close. like 65 so it's yeah. half as strong as even this like decontamination bag for iPhones. Yeah. And this was a lot more expensive. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not really convinced by UVC LEDs. I mean, these bulbs are easily available and they're inexpensive. Good. Yeah. If you get a real UVC bulb, it seems like, you know, they're quite powerful. Even ones that are meant for, you know, this is for aquariums. Yeah. And then finally you got this right. like disco so, light. So this is what you see everywhere. They're, and, and they, you know, they charge 20 bucks or whatever. And a lot of people um, I've seen photos online where they're like, I have this and you know they put it on top of their like shoe rack or something like that this does absolutely nothing zero zero it's a it's a purple light zero zero this does zero. No, this has no zero. uvc yeah. light coming from it's so, great for your black light room yeah it's great if you want to find stains on your white sheets i guess yeah. but it is not useful so for decontamination so this one you can do some things. So here we go. Look, it goes up to, you know, if you get really, you really close. Touch it. You really oh, touch it's it. close. Yeah. It's like two thousand. Yeah. Well, it even changes units. It's like up to a, a milliwatt. Of course, yeah. you want it to be a little far away. Yeah. But then I think this one is this one's really good. And these bulbs are not too expensive. You know, they're only, um, yeah, you know, they're only like twenty bucks a piece. So this one it can go up to two. So you're really close. Three. Yeah. yeah. So let's put this back on. Stay okay. All right. So Thank don't you. look at the bulbs. Yeah. But now you know the secret of UVC decontamination bulbs versus yeah. LEDs. We're learning a lot too, so we'll post more as we learn more.